Oh, well, minus Fox Knight. So, like, and I'm at Fox. And I just finished watching DC's Legends of Tomorrow. Something, 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 something. Hey, look, there's a title over here. Maybe I should try looking at it. Hold on a moment. I got to press this button and back here and then see what it is. It's called Progeny. In the episode is called Progeny. That is what it is called. Progeny. And basically, we go to the future to where um, we're basically... What is it? We go to the future where it's um, it seems kind of... What is it? It seems kind of utopianish, at least in the city. Apparently, it's kind of a cyberpunk type style city, to where I mean that it's like from at least what I've read about cyberpunk style. Um, cyberpunk is mostly about conglomerates uh, or like corporations taking over the world, kind of. And this one city is kind of like the big one. This is where Randall Savage is. He's the teacher of the son of the guy who owns the conglomerate the this um part of the world and it's like really nice and but outside the borders it's all like raggedy and like dirty so that that we have we don't see it we might see it at another point but and also in this city there are atom suits of like ray palmer's atom suits or whatever they are they are um made as robots and basically um, are kind of like the policemen there. And also the son that, uh, the kid that um, Randall Savage is tutoring, he will later on in the future in five years become the future Hitler. Um, and basically take over the world, but then Randall Savage will kill him and then he'll take over the world. And then it also then leads to everything that will happen later on with um, Rip Hunter's son dying and stuff like that. And a majority of the problem for this episode was... The main problem was, what do they do with this kid? First they say, well, we gotta kill him. Which kind of brings up the whole, like, question, like, that is, and it's, um, if you could go back in time and you and you met a young Hitler before, he, who was still in art school or something like that, if you met this young Hitler, would you kill him? That's kind of, like, the question of this episode. And, um... And of course they say no. First they kidnap him and decide, okay, well one, they decided, what I'm thinking, well you don't, if you don't want to kill him, which one, yeah, it'll be quick, but yeah, if you don't want to kill him, you can take him, pick him up, go to the past, and drop him off in the, drop him off in 2016. Or, you can go to the future, like, back, like future, like we're um, just far in the future, and drop him off there. Because then it'll be fine. Because if you drop him off in the future, he doesn't have knowledge of the past. He doesn't have knowledge of the past. Well, he has knowledge of the past, but I mean, he does If you drop him from the future into the past, he knows events that will come up. So that could be very catastrophic. Kind of um, Back to the Future ha giving Bud um, the sports magazine or whatever that tells you the who wins the who wins um the sports thing. It's kind of like that. So it's probably bad not to drop to drop him off in the past unless you're going to drop him off way way back in the past like stone age, but even then that could be a little iffy. But um but drop him off in the future, he doesn't know the technology, he doesn't know all of the technology of the future. He might know the basics of it. He doesn't know all of it. Um it's the future so he can't really change much other than the future of the future, which even then he's there alone. He doesn't have any family basically. So, yeah, you just drop them off there, and boom, done. But, no, but and, and what I do like is that they do bring that up. They do say, like, then that's their plan, to kidnap the kid. But when they kidnap the kid, um, Gideon says, Oh, um, it looks like nothing really changed in the future. Randall Savage is still going to come to power and everything. Everything's gonna still going to happen. And I'm thinking, well, what the fudge? And I'm just thinking, okay... Ugh, sorry, but the way I read that was this kid is still going to become future Hitler. And also, within five years, he's going to release a toxin that's supposed to, like, minimize the population, but it's going to kill off a lot of the world. And that's, like, Randall Savage's idea right now, like, to lower, to whatever. And that's supposed to happen in five years after this kid takes over for, takes over the company after his father's death. But, yeah, so he... 
They go to the, they try to kidnap him. It doesn't happen. And I'm thinking, okay, why don't you pick the kid up, drop him off in another time timeline or time, and then come back to the future or tell ask him, okay, what the fudge now? Because because the way I read it was that the timeline hasn't changed because at some point Rip Hunter is going to let um this kid go, which at the end he does, and I'm just like that sucks. But yeah, the um, <laughs> sorry, but yeah, I'm just like, eh. But yeah, and then basically there's another one. There's another subplot where it's Ray Palmer that like apparent like uh, he goes to where they make these robots, and where he makes the robots that are made with the atom suit, and then he finds like a giant bus which he believes is his. Along with the Adam suit that's in the future, and also for some reason, like the the Bob punching head things, like those were all around the wall for some reason. I don't know why, but those were there for some reason. I kept looking at them, like, why the fudge are those there? But maybe they were supposed to have like other people's faces on there, but they didn't do that. But I don't know. But yeah, um, and Ray's like, oh my god, and this lady that next to him, next to him says that um apparently that. And like it's a, it's a but it's a giant bus that looks exactly like Ray, but um and Ray throughout the episode is like oh my gosh I had a kid at 2016 but I didn't know and like apparently he the person that he's bit that he was seeing and being, you know screwing um apparently she disappeared on him and they say well maybe that's because she was pregnant and he's like oh my gosh if I, why did all this happen and stuff like that, but we later on find out it was actually his brother. And that apparently his brother uh, started working for Felicity, and then I guess stole the item, stole the stole the tech or whatever of the Adam suit, and then used that and sold it. So yeah, and then he's like, "Oh, okay, well that's not it." But they find that out at the end. Um, Hawk Girl or Hawk Woman's um, getting memories of her past lives again with. Um, with Hawkman in like 1920s ish, I thought it was around the same timeline. No, actually, no. It actually looks a lot earlier, but it's around. It's some like 1920s type style thing. And she says like, "Oh, Ray, I feel like I'm cheating on him with you and stuff like that." But Ray later on, but later on they say like they don't want to give up on each other and stuff like that, which I like. That was nice. Um, try and think. Ray Palmer. But it's a pretty good app. It's 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 pretty good. But um, yeah, it's pretty good. And also, I kind of like I liked like Ray, like even when Ray's looking around, like the lady asks, like, "What's your name again, Doctor?" And uh, he's uh, wait, did he say Lecter? Um, uh, I believe he said Hannah. No, he said yeah, Doctor. He said I think Jekyll. I think he said Jekyll or Mr. Hyde. What did he say, Hannibal? I don't know. I thought he said Jekyll, which I kind of like. Which, if it is Jekyll, then I kind of like the idea because it's kind of the whole thing. Like, um, see, um, you start off a hero and then you slowly see, but you live long enough, you become the villain type deal. Which I kind of like. Which I kind of like that since, um, since uh, what is it? Since it's kind of like, well, he didn't really become the villain. But technically, the Atom did, or in this case, the armor did, which I kind of like, though these suits didn't shrink, so I'm guessing that's one ability or whatever that wasn't used that didn't get transferred over to the robots. <sighs> also, Randall Savage, I guess, apparently learned how to fight these, fight the ship and find it, because he finds the ship pretty quickly, and we don't really get a reason why. And he also, like, kicks the living crap. He also, like, destroys the ship. And it's funny because Hawk Girl, White Canary, um, and Palmer, and um, both sides of the Human Torch, or the Torch, um, Firestorm are in there. And, like, they're saying, well, get in, shoot back at them. And Gideon's like, our, uh, they're like, our weapons are down. And he goes, and uh, the, old, the old guy, I forgot his name, but he goes... We don't need weapons. We have superpowers. And they all just go out there and fight. I'm like, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. I like that. We don't need powers. We got su or we don't need weapons. We got superpowers. Let's go. 
That was cool. And then also there's another um, subplot where it's um, Roy, the fire, the guy with the fire gun. Ro no, Rody? I forgot his name. Fudge. Uh, Rory. The guy, yeah, the guy with the fire gun. Um, everyone's been walking in there saying, you don't have a beef with Snark. You don't have a beef with Snark. It's either my fault or like saying, you, you know, you're not going to be angry at Snark. He's your friend. And um, Rory, Rory's like, no. No, he, I'm gonna kill him and all this stuff. And even Snarks is saying, I can't go. He's like saying, and White Canary tries to tell him to go in there to talk to him. And Snark is like, Alert Leonard is like, no, I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna do that because he already made it pretty clear as Kronos like that he wants to kill me and stuff like that. And but then later on, Snark does go out there and he says, I'm gonna give you a chance, Rory. We're gonna fight. If you kill me, you can get the, you can jump on the jump ship and leave. If you, if I kill you. If I kill you, well, well, well that, um, Heat Wave, or Rory said that, he, Rory's like, well, if you kill me, <sighs> I'm sorry, but if you kill me, I guess I'll be out of here. And basically, it leads to a fight, Leonard gets the crap kicked out of him, but then Rory can't kill him, and then, um, Rory says, well, will I kill you, if I kill you, I'm dead, if I don't kill you, I'm still dead, and they, then he says, and he talks about other hunters, which are like him, but they have no shred of, I guess, humanity left inside them. So they're going to come try to kill them now. And then, like, that's basically... And then um, Rip is like, well, what do we do to fight him? And uh, Rory says, run. And that's it. Also, I forgot to mention, um, the kid that um, they kidnap, the future Hitler, um, they give him back to his father after even, like, Rip Hunter saying... Don't be the man that um, uh, Randall Savage wants you to be. Be the man your father wants you to be. Um, they return him. They return the kid, and basically, Randall Savage's I guess plans get kicked into high gear because now the kid kills his father and then takes over the conglomerate, and then Randall Savage acts as his acting guardian and then takes over as takes over the company as a proxy, and then he basically just let let loses the the poison gas or whatever is supposed to kill everyone within um if within a few days and now is basically going to and it's made within a few days and basically is going to take over the world even faster now although now i still do wonder what what about the time masters then since like since the time masters are uh, i guess an organization in the future where do they stand like did did randall savage not know about the time masters and he just let them act I don't. I still don't understand it. If Randall Savage did take over the world, or is it that they they're their own kind of country there or something? I don't know. That was just like one little question I want to ask. Unless they, unless like um, they're just like in the time stream somewhere, or um, the vanishing point. But I don't know. But pretty good episode. I liked it. Um, next episode is gonna look like it's gonna be fun. But thank you for watching. If you all my videos, I'm right now I'm going to go watch the Adventure Time thing. Although that will probably come up before this video or possibly even during the same day. But either way, thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out my videos I've done, please click the link in the description below. Please check out all my other videos. And, oh, Wander Over Yonder is the one I'm going to watch right now. But thank you so much for watching. Check out all my other videos. And we will. See you later.